like to show you how this pushdown automaton handles input strings. We will use the input string ABC and of course the stack at the beginning is empty and we start in state Q0. And so that you don't need to watch me writing for hours, I will just leave the column 3 if nothing changes. So the first thing we have to do is to follow the transition to Q1 where we push S and dollar to the stack. And the word just stays the same. Now we can, the only thing we can do is we can read the S from the stack going into QS. Now we read S from the stack, so only the dollar sign is left. And then the only thing we can do is we follow this transition and we push ABC onto the stack. Now we have ABC dollar and we are back to Q1. Now we can follow this transition. We read the A from the input string going to QA. We are going to QA, reading A from the stack and are left with BC dollar. And then and until this point we still have ABC as input string. Now we follow this transition reading the A from the input string. So now we have BC left. The stack now stays the same and we are back to Q1. Now we pop the B from the input string following this transition going to QB. Then we follow this transition pushing B onto the stack. So now we have BC dollar on the stack. We are back in Q1. We can then follow this transition, reading the B from the stack going to QB. Until that point we are still left with BC as input string. Then we are following this transition, reading the B from the input string and are left with the C. And we are back in Q1. Then we can pop the C from the input string following this transition. So now we are in Q with a, with a big, with a capital C, where there's only the dollar on the stack. Then we, now we have uh, two possibilities. We can either push a single C or we can push A and S. Um, if this automaton is non-deterministic, so it will try out both possibilities, but um, for the sake of um, shortness, I will just follow the correct transition, so I will push the C onto the stack, the small C. We are back in Q1. Then I follow this transition to Q with the small C. where I read C from the stack. I'm still left with one C from the, in the input string. Then I follow this transition. Now I completely read the input string and I'm left with the empty word. We still have the dollar on the stack and we are in, back in Q1. And the only thing we can do now is we can pop the the seller bottom symbol and move to our final state. And now with this configuration the automaton accepted the word.